Hey fellow world wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today we are revisiting the Slugbuster. If you don't know what the Slugbuster is, it is a unique plasma pistol slash rifle that you can obtain if you side with Crater and you are nice to Rara during the questline. And if you didn't, if you didn't get one, the good news is this weapon is tradable, which means you can create a new character, grind it to level 50, and then grab this weapon, ask someone for help to transfer it over, or try to buy one through like Market76, Discord, or Reddit. So there are an option. There are an option to obtain one. Now, why is it so special? And you can see extended statistics. I'm using currently a test server to show them. And those should be available in live game version in a couple weeks. So everyone will be able to see extended weapon statistics. Now, what is so special about it? It already comes with really good legendary effects. Armor penetration, critical damage and weapon weight reduction. So it's basically weightless. This one weighed 0.41 pound for me. And I know on the live game version, this effect doesn't really work well, but it will get fixed. So soon it will be a valuable effect on weapons. It will work and weapon will be 90% lighter. Now, there is one more effect on Slugbuster that do not show anywhere. Uh, how, how I know that? If I compare, you can see I have two exactly the same weapon, but one is regular plasma thrower and AP cost is 23. The same modifications. Then the Slugbuster, same modifications, AP cost is 18, which is a significant difference going from 23 to 18. So there is hidden AP cost reduction that do not show. So you have AP cost reduction, reduced weight in one weapon, both, that normally not possible. So it is really cheap in VATS. Now, you are probably curious Don't what so is cool. this current state Please, of all the modifications with the plasma weapon, plasma rifle slash pistol, the plasma gun. And here you can see all the extended descriptions. What I'd recommend is Prime Capacitor, as this is the best damage-wise. It is giving the highest damage boost. As you can see, if I change it to anything else, the damage will drop. One thing worth to mention here, there is really surprising effect still occurring if you use Pulse Capacitor with your flamer barrel so like i have on this weapon flamer barrel if i now change capacitor to the pulse capacitor what happened do you know do you know do you know what happens it fires projectiles again so you can see i'm firing projectiles it is no longer a flamer those projectiles can go as far as you want them to go but they will not do a lot of damage they st still do good damage in vats there, there will be not a lot damage due to the fact that pulse capacitor is reducing damage comparing to prime and on top of that we are using flamer barrel and flamer barrel have this effect minus 70 percent damage at long range so even though we will be able to fire it far it will be way less damage greatly reduced damage now, from all the barrels, uh, a line is what you are going for if you are considering AP cost. And the sniper barrel, barrel works really well if you want to change it into a single shot weapon. Still, from all the choices, a line flamer barrel truly can unleash a full power of this weapon. For a couple reasons I will show you in, in a moment in practice. Now, Finally, grip or stock. If you don't know that, choosing any of the stocks and making it a rifleman weapon, by the way, plasma gun with a flamer mod 
is a rifleman weapon, and if you choose to go with a grip, it's a gunslinger weapon. That's important if you are thinking what perks you want to equip. But as well, both grips have lower AP cost in VATs than stocks. If you choose even a line stock, you are adding 6 points to AP cost per shot. That's significant difference. That's a lot of extra coffee that you need to pop if you intend to use it to fight bosses. The damage is great. You can be thinking, is it as good as Enclave Flamer? No, the damage will not be as good, but you will be able to have and achieve much cheaper AP cost. A little bit less damage, much lower AP cost, and no rolling required. It's already a perfect roll, so you don't need to reroll anything on it if you need a boss killer. It is boss killer as is. Then, about all the scopes and sights, if you are going with a flamer, you don't really need accuracy or range or anything like that. All you need is the lowest possible AP cost, which is achieved with reflex sight. All other scopes AP cost will be higher. Most of them do not increase AP cost, even though it says here plus four. It's just because reflex sight is reducing AP cost. So it's not like scope is increasing AP cost, it is not, the reflex side is reducing your AP cost. And some scopes, like night vision, actually do increase AP cost, but not regular scopes. So I hope that is clear in here. And those are all the mods available for any plasma gun, including legendary slugbuster. Now, why the flamer? One of the reasons is the capacity, 300. Now, fully molded, it is a true beast. And let me demonstrate how well it works. And I'm not here even fully spec for this gun. All I have is the tank killer and some critical related perks and one rank of each gunslinger. I'm partially spec for melee. So you don't need much investment to achieve really high damage output. And lastly, if you are curious how this gun, like a little flamer pistol, will compare to something like a heavy gun, actual flamer, this one is more powerful. Now you are probably curious how well it performs, so damage is there, that's without VATS, just by pressing the fire and burning with the blue, blue with the green flame on those enemies, but the true power is inside that. If you press a critical button, press the trigger very briefly, it's like one to two ammo. Yeah, that's like that. If I just press the trigger, I'm trying not to hold it, so I don't waste the ammo, I press crit and then press the trigger, almost. So basically very short, two cartridges, needed to kill level 100 super mutant if i would be spec a little bit more into damage probably one cartridge but in this situation two and all of those tanky enemies will be dead super mutant crit and he's dead another super mutant oh the crit was not charged he's dead nevertheless so this is a very powerful weapon relatively easy to obtain especially if you still have your quest line to complete or if you already completed it and you have this gun it is close in power to enclave flamer that is really hard to obtain and usually you need to roll it and it's cheaper in vats the huge difference it is significantly cheaper in vats if i show you my enclave flamer it cost me 30 to fire in VATS, even though it's already with a good mods. It doesn't have less AP cost on the legendary, unfortunately, but it's a line flamer and reflex sight. Very rare Enclave Plasma gun, and it's more expensive in VATS, almost twice as expensive. So I'm using it as a hip fire weapon only. The Slugbuster, amazing VATS weapon. Melting enemies, 
like nothing goes like into butter it is a true boss killer as well can deal with all the bosses and that being said i hope you enjoyed the updated guide and review for the slugbuster thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one